So I am loving these perfumes and I don't even know which one I like the most. It's so hard. How do I pick from this? Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, At Home With Nancy. At Home With Nancy is all about interior decor, beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and all things fancy. And if that's something you're interested in, please hit that subscribe button so y'all could join the most high gang. And do not forget to hit that notification bell so you can get notified when I do post new content. Okay, boys and girls, let's get started. So in today's video, we are discussing all about some affordable fragrances, which smells good and has good projection. So these are fragrances around $100, you know, because the girls were saying, Nancy, 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 majority of your fragrances are $300 and above. And I'm like, look, okay, I actually do have fragrances that are around $100, but Anyways, they wanted me to do another video for the spring and summer that could keep the girls smelling good because trust and believe, many of y'all want to be the eat girl, right? Y'all want to be that girl, but guess what though? Many are called, but a few are chosen. So to be part of the chosen ones, stay tuned and keep watching this video. All right, so let's get started. So. We are going to start from the K. Alley um, Eden Juicy Apple. So this fragrance was a gift actually from my friend. And I do really like this fragrance. But I have read online that the fragrance does smell like Victoria's Secret Love Spell. You know, it's one of those, one of their old body sprays, which I used to love back then in high school. You know, so of course when I did smell it, the top note gave Love Spell vibes. I'm not gonna lie, the top note gave Love Spell vibes. And I was like, hmm, this does smell really familiar. But the dry down of this fragrance was when I actually did fall in love. So, K. Ali fragrance, let's just talk about the top notes. So the top notes are red apple, of course, juicy apple, lychee, black currant, and pink grapefruit. And the middle notes are wild berries, raspberry bloom, jasmine and marrows base notes are sugar musk vanilla a uh, musk and amber so this fragrance is actually more on the fruity floral side but funny enough i actually love mixing this fragrance so if you're one of those who mix fragrances this is a good mix of fragrance you know how they have the k Ali vanilla 28 and a lot of people do mix use that as a mix of fragrance. This would be a good one And if you actually want to wear this by itself, you also love it because at first the initial top notes You're like, mm, you know, especially if you've used love spell before you be like ah, it does smell like body spray, but the dry down it's beautiful and this I believe should be used, especially if you're a mixer girl who likes to like mix two fragrances. This is a good one to add because it just, it gives, it's a beautiful fragrance. So the next one, which happens to be one of my favorites. Oh, sorry. And this, by the way, at Sephora, it's about $120. So it's pretty affordable, you know? So the next one is this. So this is the Carolina Herrera Very Good Girl. I love this fragrance. Like, this fragrance is something you spray, you walk out of the store, you go home and you keep thinking about it. Yeah, so this was how I got this fragrance. So I sprayed this, you know, I was just trying to smell it, you know, and I went home, I was like, oh my God, this smells really good. Like, I appreciated the smell after I left the store, you know, and I was like, okay, I'll buy it. But then I was like, ah, even though it's around $100, it is $160. I was like, ah, it's still kind of like pricey, you know? But then I spread it another time. And then I went home and I kept on still thinking about it. So I was like, you know what, forget this. I'm just going to go back to go buy it. So the next day I went to the store and I picked this up from Sephora. 
And I mean, let's talk about the bottle. Just the bottle alone. Look how sexy it is with the heel, with the gold heel and the red color. You know, red is sexy. So this actually is a very sexy fragrance. And it does have a good projection. The projection is really beautiful, you know. Like people will smell you. If you are worried about you not being smelled, trust and believe you don't have to worry about that with this fragrance. So uh, whew, it's beautiful. Okay, let's talk about the notes. So the notes for this is um, of course it's also floral and fruity, but the top notes are lychee and red currant. Middle notes are no are rose and base notes are vanilla and vertiver. And I love this. Like I love the projection. This you could wear to work, but because I feel as though as it's a little on the stronger side, I would say if you do wear this to work, you do want to not spray heavy. You know, so spray light because the projection is beautiful. This is a good date night perfume. Like if you're going out on a date with your husband, your boyfriend, your lover, significant other, your girlfriends, this is just a beautiful fragrance to have on. And then I tried something else. I ended up mixing this with Valentino Bonaroma and baby, let me tell you, this two together is over. Like game over, you know, like Valentino Bonaroma, you know how the girls on TikTok were talking and raving about this perfume, but trust and believe, I don't know what even made me do it. I know, I remember. So the last time I sprayed this perfume, when I went to the store, I sprayed this and I sprayed this on different arms and I walked out. So when I went home, I was like, oh my God, this smells so good. You know, I was like, I know it's both of them I have on because I wasn't sure if I wanted to get Valentino because I just felt like everyone had Valentino Bonaroma. And I didn't want to be like all the girls who have the same perfume. But this actually smells good. Like my best friend has this perfume. And one time she sprayed it out and went out. I was like, oh, what's that? She was like, oh, it's Valentino Bonne Roma. And it smelled really good. So I was like, okay. So the TikTok girls are actually not lying. This actually does smell really good. So that's why I ended up picking up this. But anyways, like I was saying, I sprayed these two perfumes, went home, and I just couldn't get over it. But when I went to the store, I picked this instead of this because I felt as though as I didn't want to spend over... 350 on perfumes, you know, so it's like I'm not trying to spend money, you know I came here to buy perfume that's around a hundred dollars, you know that I fell in love with which is this so I went home with this But then I was like, ah, oh, Just because how they both smelled really good together. I went back to the store to pick up Valentino Bonaroma So yeah, so anyways, let's talk about Valentino Bonaroma So now let's start with talking about the notes so for the notes um, so this is also a floral fragrance for women. All these perfumes I'm talking about today, they are all for women. These are not unisex. <laughs> these are all for the ladies. Okay, so the top notes are black currant, pink pepper, bergamot, and the middle notes are jasmine, uh, jasmine tea, jasmine sandback, and the base notes are bourbon vanilla, cashmere, guayac wood, and... Oh, Valentino is so beautiful. So, okay, Valentino, this perfume I wear to work, but I am not going to wear it to work anymore just because as beautiful and as light and airy I feel as though this perfume can be, I was told that I smell strong. I'm like, I smell strong with Valentino on Aroma because to me, it's just a beautiful floral smell, you know, and I feel like it's light and airy. It's not too heavy. It will not make you sneeze. It's, you know, at least I sneeze easily, and this does not make me sneeze. So I was surprised that my coworker was like, oh, you know, she smells really strong. I'm like, hmm, okay. But if you do not have very sensitive coworkers, this would be a good work perfume, and also a beautiful date night perfume, and a brunch perfume, like going out with the girls, you just spray this with your nice white dress. Oh my goodness, this, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful smell. Projection, lovely, you know. But I do have a friend of mine who said, not my best friend, but another friend, my cousin's best friend, actually. Shout out to her. So sad. I was talking to her, and she was like, oh, because she loves perfumes, too, just as much as I do. And she was telling me, she was like, oh, I do have this Valentino. I do like it, but on me, it doesn't, you know, last long. I was like, hmm, that's weird, you know. On me, it does last a good amount. Like, I would say six hours. 
you know, give or take six hours. I think that's a good amount. Six hours is good. Like if you go out, you go out to a brunch, you go out for date night, you go out with your girls, you're out for most likely four hours. So, or you go out to the club. Yeah, this is a good fragrance. I think it lasts long. But then again, when it comes to perfume lasting long, it all depends on your body chemistry, you know? So yeah, all right. So the next on my list, oh, before I forget, this too is 1.7 ounce bottle. And this was about $150. So which is why I ended up not picking these two together. Because I was like, oh my God, I'm trying to not spend. And now, you know, if I buy both of them, I'm spending at least $330. I was like, okay, I'll pick this one. But then I couldn't resist this. I went back to pick the Valentino. But I mean, they are around $100. So I think it's a pretty good price for what you're getting. All right. So next, go to the next fragrance. Uh, the next fragrance on my list will be the, I think I have a good amount of red bottles. Oh, yeah, so this one. So this is the C Passionate. So this is the jo Ar Jojo Armani C Passionate. So this perfume um, was a gift. So myself and my husband, my husband has this thing where he, tra when he travels, he always returns back with a perfume for me. So usually it's either a perfume he thinks smells good because he's really good with perfumes or a perfume I actually told him I like. So he'll go there, wherever I travel, so he finds it and buy it for me. So yeah, I'm sorry, I'm just spraying all this perfume. <laughs> I love smelling good. But anyways, so C Fashion is another very beautiful fragrance. It's, um really good for spring like this perfumes for spring summer beautiful beautiful because in the spring and summer i don't want to smell, smell too strong you know because like my other big guns like the big guns are the ones which are really strong which are really like those ones i stay for the winter but for spring summer i want to smell light and airy i don't want to smell like you know because if you smell something so strong you could feel like you're about to pass out, you know, because it's so strong. You feel like you can't breathe. So, which is why I like to go for these ones in the summer and the, in the springtime. So, this is a beautiful fragrance. Very sexy. This, you could wear out on the bar to run errands. You could also wear it out on date nights because it's very beautiful. You could wear this out with your girls. Because this this is a light fragrance, you could also wear it to work, you know. It's very beautiful. I like. I love the projection. I love how it lasts. It, this, I would say, also lasts around, like, five to six hours you know and the dry down is kind of powdery like when it dries after hours it smells like you know powder like you know but it's not in a bad way it's just a powdery dry down so let me talk about the notes so the notes here are this is a floral fruity fragrance but the top notes here are pear black currant pink pepper and grapefruit Middle notes are pineapple, rose, jasmine, and heliotrope. Base notes are vanilla, cedar, amberwood, and patchouli. And, oh, see, the thing is, I like taking showers in the evening before I go into bed. But when I spray all this fragrance now while doing this video, it's going to make me not want to take a shower because I'm like, oh, I don't want to wash it off because I just want to smell good, you know? Because I just have all this mixture of perfumes right now. Anyways. Um, the next on my list is the next on my list is let's see, okay, baby. <laughs> okay, I must admit, from all these perfumes here, this is actually one of my favorites. I know I did say this is also one of my favorites, but this too is top of the list the YSL Libre Intense. This fragrance. Hmm. This one, I'm not, I don't even have to spray it. This fragrance is addicting. I had to stop myself from using this bottle because I, you know, it was going down too deep. I was like, no, 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 Nancy, slow down. So this fragrance, oh boy, I sprayed this to work before I started getting, I started being reported for smelling too good, for smelling too strong. Anyways, spray this to work. And that guy sprayed this. I also sprayed these two together. So I'm not into like mixing fragrances these days. Like I don't know what's wrong with me. I try to mix like two nice bottles that I feel like the smells will actually be good together. So I mixed these two together. And guess what? I stepped out of the elevator. There was a lady in the elevator, actually two ladies. 
no, sorry, it was one lady in the elevator when I stepped out. And while I was walking, another lady was stepping in with the other lady in the elevator. So the lady who was stepping in was like, ooh, who's, what's that smell? It smells so good. And the lady in the elevator was like, oh, it's the doctor who just walked away. She was like, wow, she smells really good. And the other lady was like, I know. So do you know that these two smelled so good together that the person who was in the elevator at first, she saw me later in the hospital and she pulled me to the side. She was like, please, I'm sorry to disturb you. I was like, yeah, is everything okay? She was like, no, um, you were in the elevator earlier and you smelled so good. Even the lady who walked in was talking about how good you smell. Please, what do you have on? Whew. I was like, well, actually, it's actually uh, two perfumes mixed together. She's like, what are the names? So I told her it was the YSL Labor Intense and the Coco Mademoiselle. And this is actually a lady who is a lab tech in the hospital. So I was, I went, to, I was in the lab when she put me aside. So I wrote the uh, fragrance for her <laughs> with her little test tubes with blood. In fact, I think I have a photo because I took a photo of it, you know, because I thought it was really cute because it was a test tube with blood and there was a paper, a little sticky note with the fragrance I had on that day. If I do find it, I'll put it up there. I'll try to see if I still have it on my phone. But yeah, so it was these two together and they were so beautiful, you know. This is kind of strong, actually, and so is this. But I didn't spray too heavy. I actually did not spray too heavy. But I just wanted both scents together, and it was so beautiful. So the White Labor is an uh, addicting fragrance. Like, on its own, this is a beast on its own, you know. But uh, I just, I guess I got tired of the smell. So I was like, I want to do something else with the smell, which is why I mixed it with the uh, Coco Mademoiselle. So this fragrance right here, it's very sexy. It's a very sexy fragrance. It's very addicting. So this fragrance is something I pull out like when I'm going out at night, like night outing to the club where I really want to smell good, you know? I put this, I pull this out because the projection is beautiful. I feel like this lasts like eight hours. Honestly, like eight hours. This will give you eight hours. It's, it smells really good. Projection, it projects, it will smell you, you know? And it does last, you know? So it's a good buy. So anyways, let's talk about the notes. So the notes is, uh, it's an amber uh, fragrance for women. And the notes are lavender, top notes are lavender, mandarin, orange, bergamot. And middle notes are lavender, Susanna orange, blossom, jasmine, sandback, and orchid. Base notes are Madagascar, vanilla, toka bean, and ambergris and vertiver. Yeah, the toka bean. I think that's what it is. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Like, I could do this all day. And, of course, the bottle. Nothing to say. Beautiful. All right. Now, let's just go ahead and just talk about the Chanel Mademoiselle. So, this fragrance for me is an OG fragrance in the sense that this has been one of my staple fragrances. And I don't like using it a lot because it's just one of those fragrances that... Just reminds me of being be, me becoming a woman because when i started getting into perfumes this was actually one of the perfumes i used in fact i feel like a lot of females have this perfume in their collection you know and oh chanel so i'm in love with that cool cool <laughs> so this perfume is very youthful in the sense that you know how chanel number five smells old and matured that's not this one. This smells beautiful. It smells youthful. It doesn't smell too young. It doesn't smell too old. It smells just right. So this perfume is something that I would always love. You know, as long as I live, you always be my, my first love. That's this one. So this perfume, of course, I do wear out with my husband on date nights. It's also good for like just going to work if you want to. Good for hanging out with your girlfriends, brunch, dinner, club. It's beautiful. Projection. It projects very well. But one thing I would say is that this perfume could, if you are sensitive to smell, it could make you feel like you are choking because the orange, like the top notes of the orange is really loud. Like you feel like you are about to <coughs> cough. You know, but if that's not a problem, then this is beautiful, you know. So when I spray it on me, I try to hold my breath and walk away from that area because I end up sneezing. <laughs> but I do love it, so I can't get rid of it, I, I, you know. So, but yeah. So let's just talk about the notes. So the notes here are 
Okay, this is a floral perfume. And the notes here are, for top notes, orange, mandarin orange, bergamot, and orange blossom. I told you, like it has this orange, like this citrus smell. It's very citrusy. And I think that's that citrusy smell that makes you kind of like sneeze when you just like spray it on. And then the middle notes are Turkish rose, jasmine, mimosa, and ylang ylang. Base notes are patchouli, white musk, vanilla, vertiver, toka bean, and oponax. I've never heard of that before. Wow. Oponax. Hmm. Okay. All right. But yeah, so that's Chanel. So remember, these two together. Beautiful. All right. So we have two more to talk about so let's talk about let's see okay let's talk about miss dior so miss dior i'm close to halfway through the bottle miss dior i love wearing this perfume to work because it's just beautiful and airy it's also very floral very girly very princessy you know so um this perfume, at least no one has put me to the side to stop wearing it. It would not choke you. It's very soft. It's beautiful. It smells really good. So this perfume, I love to wear out on like, let's say brunch, when I just, I'm out and about with my girlfriends, you know, in the daytime. It's a beautiful fragrance. For date nights, you know, it's beautiful, but I don't reach out for this for date nights. I wear this more like for day events, you know, or work, you know. So, uh... Me is Dior Eau de Parfum. So let's talk about the notes. So this is also a floral perfume for women. The top notes are iris, peony, lily of the valley. Middle notes are apricot, rose, and peach. Base notes are vanilla, musk, tonka bean, sandalwood, and benzoin. So. Hmm. Beautiful elegant the elegant smell very beautiful all right so now let's talk about our last fragrance and that is none other than the twilly the hermes eau pauvre so this perfume ah oh, i love this fragrance so this perfume was a gift from my husband, you know, and um, before he got me this perfume, I went to the Hermes store and I smelled this. I smelled the original, then I smelled this one, you know, but for some reason, I gravitated towards this one and yeah. So when my husband was out in the bath, I told him to please help me pick this up. That way, I don't have to pay for it because I'm not picking it up myself, right? <laughs> yeah so anyways i told him about this perfume and he picked it up for me and look at this perfume i love the bottle i love the bow tie hat i love the little twilly on the neck it's so pretty it's so girly just a beautiful bottle anyways this perfume is very affordable it was i believe this is like a hundred and thirty dollars or so and this is 1.6 ounce yeah, it's like $130. It, you could buy it from Sephora. You could pick it up from the Hermes store. This fragrance is lovely. It's amazing. It's sexy. So I want this to work. <laughs> I know. But I want it to work because, I mean, I go to work a lot more now. So I'm like, I might as well use some of these fragrances to work. So I have a friend, one of my work friends. We're really cool. She's really close to me. So she is a fragrance lover just like I am. Shout out to Alice. I swear this on me and she grabbed me she's like oh nancy what's that i was like what she's like that smell I'm like what do you have on i'm like oh i have the twilly the hermes au pauvre she's like oh i really like this fragrance it smells really good on you you should wear it more because i hardly reach for it because i'm like ah uh. sometimes when i start finding out i'm using the bottle too too much i stop and i reach for something else i don't use as much you know so she's like yeah you should wear it more you don't wear it enough i was like oh really she's like yeah it's really nice it's very pretty very airy very beautiful and i love how it is how like it's soft enough you know but this i will tell you it could be soft if you spray light but if you spray heavy it could be kind of strong so beware so if you are wanting to work do not spray a lot because it is you know kind of strong so this with 
projection, it does project, and um, also it does last. You know, I would say, when I say something lasts, to me, like with perfumes like this, six hours is good. You know, six hours is good. Like my other, you know, stronger perfumes, those ones could last like 24 hours, you know. But this, six hours is good, you know. At work, of course, I'm there longer. You know, I don't respray, I just spray light and that's it. You know, it will last me, you know, it lasts me enough. You know, and I don't feel like going to work, you don't want to, you know, cause people to start sneezing or, you know. So, yeah. So this is a perfume too that you can wear dates for at night time. This is a beautiful date night perfume. This is a perfume you can also wear to the club if you're going out to the club because it is also kind of strong. So it will last more. I know everybody in the club have different perfumes. So yours too will do some talking if you walk in, you know. So this is small bottle but mighty. You know, this is what I call small but mighty. It's small but it's it projects, you know. And it does last at least tops six to seven hours yeah so these are it for the perfumes so now i know y'all oh actually sorry i forgot to talk about the notes all right let me talk about the notes so for this one the notes are mm, where is my notes for this one where is it mm, okay sorry i found it so of course this is also floral but the top notes are pink pepper, the heart notes are rose, and it has some base notes of patchouli. Yeah. For some reason, I feel like a lot of things with patchouli actually end up buying, weirdly enough. I don't pick it up on purpose, but I feel like I gravitate towards patchouli. But yeah. So anyways, now, let's just talk about my favorite. I know a lot of these perfumes are around like $100 to $165, okay? $160. But with tax, I'll just say $160. So between $100 and $160. Those are the range. So for my favorite perfumes, because I know you you guys want to know, my top perfumes. I can't pick. Okay, let me, if I have to pick one, if I have to pick one, for now, right now, at this time, right now, the way I'm feeling, this is my number one. If I have to pick two that I'm feeling these days, I'm loving these days, oh boy, this is my number two. If I have to pick three, <laughs> this is hard to pick. It's hard to pick that I'm gravitating towards these days because I'm not a signature uh, scent girl. I go with my mood and sometimes I just end up loving something and then I stop liking it again. Anyways, if I have to go for number three, number three, that'll be hard this valentino top three as of right now that i am loving you know if i have to go for number four okay for number four number four number four number four i'm in love with that cocoa and if i have to go for my number five it'll be this one if i have to go for my number six <laughs> Ah, uh, it's a drag between these two. And if I have to go for the last one, maybe this one. So yeah. So if you made it to the end of this video, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much for watching, for sticking with me throughout this video, for supporting my YouTube channel, okay? Love y'all, and I'll be catching y'all in my next video. Mwah! Don't forget to subscribe!